welcome back to another video hope you are having a great day and as you know here at Ore we have a large variety of AV solutions ranging from HDMI splitters to switches to extenders and many more and one of the questions that we get asked a lot is what is the difference between a HDMI switch and a HDMI matrix and that is exactly what we are going to discuss today but first of all let's understand what both of these are now an HDMI switch is a device that allows us to connect two or more source devices such as DVD players streaming devices or Android TV boxes to one display allowing us to switch between them without having to disconnect the cables every now and then on the other hand a HDMI matrix is a device that allows us to connect two or more source devices such as DVD players streaming devices or Android TV boxes to one or more displays allowing us to switch with them with ease. The main difference between these two type of devices is the number of inputs and outputs that each of them has. Now an HDMI switch has two or more inputs with just one output. It allows us to connect multiple media devices to a single display. On the other hand an HDMI matrix has two or more inputs and two or more outputs allowing us to connect multiple media devices to multiple displays for example the Biki 401 is a basic HDMI switch which as the name suggests has four inputs and one output it is used to connect four media devices to one single display on the other hand the UHDS 402A has four inputs and two outputs which allows us to connect four media devices to two displays and now that we know the difference between both of them in terms of design let's take a look on how we can use them now an HDMI switch would be used in a situation where we have one single TV or a display that only has one HDMI input and to be able to use the multiple media devices that we have we would need to use a switch allowing us to switch between without having to change the cables the matrix on the other hand takes this a little bit further and by giving us multiple outputs as well if we have more than one display and would like to use both at the same time we would need a matrix the matrix will allow us to display the same source on all displays connected to it or we can display each source to a different display at the same time essentially the matrix serves the purpose of both a splitter and a switch depending on the number of inputs and outputs that we need we might want to choose between a HDMI switch and a HDMI matrix so as an example if you have a setup with two or three or four media sources like DVD players, Android TV boxes, streaming devices and you have one single display but in the future you plan to have a secondary display so the best option at this moment would be a matrix because we would future proof our setup and besides all this these devices also offer some extra features such as automatic switching audio extraction audio channel return and so on so for example if we want to switch between different sources on our one or two display setups while extracting audio to a sound system we can go through the optical output or 3.5 millimeter auxiliary port on the Biki 202A or if we have an ARC soundbar and a ARC TV but also want to connect multiple media devices to the TV we can go and use the UHD 401 ARC switch or the UHD 402 matrix and that's all about the differences between a HDMI switch and a HDMI matrix and some of the futures but possibilities do not end here when we move on to professional AV setups we also have multi viewers video wall matrix and matrix extenders but we will discuss those in a different video now let's take a quick look at a HDMI switch in action 
Connectivity wise, it's very simple. We will have four HDMI inputs at the back, one power input, and there is also a output, which is the cable that will go to our TV or to our monitor. And basically the connectivity is as simple as this. We will connect directly the HDMI output of every single device that we want to use to one of these inputs at the back. And then there will be only one cable connecting to our TV. In this example, I did connect one mini computer with Windows 11 to the HDMI input 1, the NVIDIA Shield TV to the HDMI input 2, the Apple TV 4K to the HDMI input 3, and lastly, my MacBook Pro to the HDMI input 4. And to select the source that we want to see on our TV, we have two ways. One of which is to press this button here at the front, which says input, and it will cycle through the several inputs that we have. In this particular case, we have four, but if you only have three, it will work the same way, but it will not use the last one. So it will cycle through the ones that are active. The only disadvantage of pressing the button right over here is that it will cycle from one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So if we want to jump from two to four or four to three or something like that, then we will have to use the remote control. Now using the remote control is a bit friendlier because we have the choice of selecting between three to one or one directly to four, which is in my opinion, the best advantage over using the manual button. One other important factor is that our devices are capable of emitting high resolution and high quality video and audio codecs, thing that the switcher from Aura is capable of handling and then transmitting exactly what it captures from the device. It will be able to output up to 8K 60Hz, 4K 120Hz, 10-bit video, HDR10+, Dolby Vision, HLG, Dolby Digital+, Plus, Dolby True HD, and a lot more that I'll post here on screen and also on the link down below. And now let's take a quick look at a HDMI matrix in action. Here we are with the example setup for the Ore 4x2 HDMI 2.0 matrix switcher. And at this moment, we've got four inputs connected and two outputs connected. So this is output A, output B, and we have on the inputs one NVIDIA Shield TV, which is right over here, a Apple TV, also a Windows computer, and a Mac computer, which I will show you in just a few moments. We are outputting audio through a 3.5 millimeter jack at this moment, but we also have the option to output via optical for a amplifier or a stereo that we have. Now, in terms of the interface, we already seen, but to see how it works, for example, at this moment, I can just select the output A interface right over here, output B interface right over here from one to four, one to four. We also have the audio selector, so I can play audio from source A or B or output A or B to be more precise. We can also downscale the image from 4K to 1080, which we will not need at this moment because we are using two 4K displays. And lastly, we have the arc button. So we can activate HDMI arc in case your stereo has it. So that being said, let's take an example right over here. So if I press this button, I will select the output for the channel a. And if we press again, it will go to source number three. And once it goes, and depending on the device, it will take longer or not. And these displays also take quite a bit of time. I have TVs that are quicker to respond. So this delay doesn't have to do with the Ore switcher or the Ore matrix, but with the display itself. So it's on number four. And if we want to go back to number one, I just need to press the button once again and there we go now the only limitation that we have right over here is that we will need to cycle through so if i want to go from one to four i will need to go uh, between number two number three until we reach number four if we want to bypass this we will need to use the included remote control which has the output for channel a output for channel b and then the audio selector right over here. So in this example, if I want to jump from three 
to 1, for example, on channel B. If I use the menu, I will have to cycle through, but if I use the remote control and if I press 1, it will change immediately to source 1, and it's displaying at this moment the same image on both displays. So if I want to quickly change this one to number 2, uh, which is the Apple TV 4K, we will have the image right over there, and once again, this delay it has to do with the displays, which take quite a bit of time, even when we change on the settings of the display to change from one computer to another. But there we go. As an example, if I want to change this one to number four, we can just press number four. And that one to number one, we can change to number one. And basically, this is it. Now, let's take, let's take a look at the audio test, which there is something really important on this kind of device, which is the audio synchronization. So here we will put a video playing. Compress the audio and image and that it's not uh, good. In this particular case, we will have a real pass through. So whatever comes in, it will go out up to 4K at 60 Hertz, 10 bit video and all those formats that I already mentioned and also down below on the video description. Now, so as you can see, this is the audio extractor from Ori that we have seen a couple of weeks ago. But the important message right over here is that we have audio synchronized. There are some devices, cheaper devices, that do not have the audio synchronized, which will ruin the experience. Right over here, we have the audio synchronized, which is exactly what we need for this kind of device. Now, we are playing audio from channel a, but if we select channel B, it's exactly the same content. So let's change uh, the output B to the Apple TV. And let's put right over here also a video. At this moment, we are playing audio from the A side. And right now, we'll give us a lot of options to configure and to use. We are playing audio from the phones B side. This is for the first time. I've been using for the past few days so only the audio Apple coming out from channel so B. And, and if we select so hopefully hey, it will go to the NVIDIA Shield to the B. We need to decide and then if I decide to put our number two router, right over there, we will have the same audio AI. output, but in this particular case, in particular case coming the out from the channel B. And sorry about that, but just so that you can see live over here that we have image and audio synchronization on all four channels. We just need to select which channel we want to extract the audio from this one or this one in this particular case a and b and that is it hopefully you have a better idea of the differences between a hdmi switch and a hdmi matrix and if that is the case don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen if you still have any questions feel free to drop them down below on the comment section or through our supports on the comment pin down below on this video my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one